his power. Sculpt Express, you need 45 minutes, a set of dumbbells, your mat. Click play on your playlist. Come onto your mat, please, downward facing dog. Press through the L shape of your fingers. Send your hips high and back, melt your heels towards your mat. And from here, friends, just breathe. Find a few pedals. Um, it, this is gonna be one of those obnoxious holiday classes. It, it for sure is. Uh, the workout will be fine. <laughs> it translates to any playlist. But if you're feeling festive, join me on mine. Um, I promise there's like some beats that you're not going to be like pissed while you work out. Okay. 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 Take a few more pedals, few more breaths. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, ragdoll pose on top of your space. Take your feet at least hip distance apart, maybe a little wider. You have the option to find a bind with your hands when you grab your opposite elbow. Interlace your fingers behind your neck. Just let your arms hang. That's cool too, friends. Either way, bend through your knees. Open up to the back side of your body. Hinge from your hips. Allow your head to hang heavy. Like your head's a bowling ball. Your neck's a string heavy. Yeah. So I'll tell you, I had a few friends lined up for today, but um, I don't know what happened. Nobody, <laughs> nobody showed up. We even had a wait list, so I don't know. It's kind of weird to ho-ho-ho by myself in here, but I've got you. Dang it, and we're going to do the thing anyway. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release your hands down. Inhale your right arm high, ragdoll with a twist. Breathe here. Bend generously through your left knee. Square your hips towards your mat. Twist through your waist. Maybe you roll through your wrist, through your shoulder. Big breath in, reach up. Exhale, release your right hand down. Inhale your left arm high, right dog with a twist. Breathe here. Bend generously through your right knee. Again, square your hips, twist through your waist to roll your top shoulder back. Take a big breath in. Exhale, forward fold, heel toe your feet together, please. Inhale, halfway lift. Press your hands into your shins. Breathe here just for a hot second. Set it up. Find length through your spine. Reach the crown of your head forward, your tailbone back. Take a big breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Breathe here. Ground down through all four corners of your feet. Hug up through your quads so much your kneecaps lift. Now glide your shoulders away from your ears. Maybe turn your pinkies in, big breath in. Exhale, mini back bend. Breathe here. Cactus your arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Shine your chest forward. Exhale. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, high plank. No chaturangas. Merry Christmas. Take a big breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, please. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, please. Right into it. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Breathe here. Press all of your body weight into your heels. See, lift, wiggle your toes. Tuck your tailbone under. Engage your lower abdominals. Squeeze your biceps up behind your ears. Take a big breath in. Exhale, crescent, airplane arms. Step your left foot back. Breathe here. Roll your back heel up over your toes. Bend your front knee above your ankle. Now squeeze your palms together above your hips. Exhale. Inhale, crescent lunge, breathe here. Bend your back knee so much that you can square your hips forward. Bend your front knee 90 degrees, so parallel your front hamstring with your mat. Take a big breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Breathe here. Parallel the knife edge of your back foot with the back edge of your mat. Glide your shoulders away from your ears. Reach through your fingers. Big breath out. Inhale, star pose. Breathe in. Stay here. Just reach. It's just a big stretch. It's a big stretch. Again, glide your shoulder blades down your back. Reach through your fingers. Maybe it's jazz fingers. We can turn these back on later as we start jingle rocking here. Okay, take a big breath in. Exhale, high plank, windmill down. Take a big breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll fill the second side. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, please. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Step your right foot back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, high plank. Take a big breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, please. Exhale, forward fold. Who knew you'd get Snoop Dogg in this? Inhale, chair pose. Alternate knee drives. Bring your hands to heart center. Hold your chair pose. Crunch your right knee up. Set it down. Crunch your left. Lower. Crunch. Lower. Crunch. Squeeze your belly up and in. Find a C curve through your lower back. Crunch. Stay low in your legs. Use your breath. Four more. Three. Two. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Up your left foot back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Take it across to curtsy. Curtsy, tap your knee. Come up, tap your toe. Curtsy, stand. Curtsy, stand. Curtsy, stand. Again, stack your front knee over your ankle. So parallel your shin or perpendicular it with the ground, I guess. Four more. Three, two. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Heel lift with an oblique crunch. Bring your fingertips behind your ears. Lift your heel. Now crunch towards your front leg. Calf raise, crunch. Calf raise, crunch. As you lift your heel, squeeze your calf into the back of your knee. As you crunch, when you crunch towards your front leg, squeeze your right obliques to come back up. Stack your hips, your shoulders over your hips. Squeeze to your left. So you still get like the double crunch action, friends. A little lower. Parallel your hamstring with your mat. Keep going. Good job, friends. Four more. Last three. Two. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star. Wide deadlifts. Bring your hands to heart center. Glide your hips back. Parallel your belly with your mat. Exhale, squeeze your tush forward. Inhale, glide it back. Exhale, squeeze it forward. Glide back, flat back. Squeeze it. Glide it, feel your hamstrings. Squeeze, feel your tush. As you squeeze to the top, it is more important to squeeze your glutes together than to thrust them forward. Okay. Feel the sensation build in the back of your legs. Mm. Think about your halfway lift. So when you're at the bottom of your deadlift, your belly's parallel with your mat. You have length through your spine. Reach the crown of your head. Go for length here. Two more. Last one. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, high plank. Shoulder taps with a knee drive. One side only. We'll do the left side. Tap your left shoulder. Pull your left knee. Lower. Tap. Lower. Tap. Lower. Tap. 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 Hug your belly up and in. It's a lot of balance. So squeeze through your midsection. Maybe you take your right leg out a little wider. So that when you pull on the left side, you touch your left shoulder, pull your left knee. You have a little more stability through your leg. Not me, I'm sliding everywhere. Oh. Got it. Hollow through your armpits, dome through your back. You are strong here. Five more. Last three. Two. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, please. Exhale, full. Inhale, chair pose. Bring your hands to heart center, alternate knee drops. We'll step back. You step back, drop. Tap. 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 Come back to chair. Tap your knee. Tap your knee. Tap your knee. Tap your knee. You're low. You're low. You've got to burn through your quads, through your glutes, through your hammies. Four, three, two. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, crescent airplane arm. Step your right foot back, please. Inhale, crescent lunge. Take it across to curtsy. You tap your knee, stand up. Tap, tap. Tap your knee, tap your toe. Tap your knee. Tap your toe. We tap our knees for depth, friends. So get low. <clears throat> Keep your arms lifted overhead. Warm up through your lats, your shoulders. Four more. Last three. Two. Inhale, crescent lunge. Bring your foot straight back. Exhale, warrior two. 
Inhale your fingertips behind your ears. Heel lift, oblique crunch. Heel lift, oblique crunch. Heel lift, crunch it. Lift it, crunch. Lift, crunch. Lift, reach up and over. Lift, reach up and over. Keep going. Hug up to your belly. As you crunch towards your knee, squeeze your under oblique, your left oblique, to stack your shoulders back on top of your hips, squeeze to your right. So this movement comes from your midsection. Four more. Last three, two. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose, wide deadlift, just a few, just for good measure, take them this one faster. Glide them back, squeeze them up. Glide them back, squeeze them up. Glide it back. Squeeze it up, glide, pinch it, glide, pinch it, glide for four, three, two, inhale, star pose, exhale, high plank. Other side, tap your right shoulder, pull your right knee. You tap and pull, tap and pull, tap and pull, tap and pull, tap and pull. You take this as slow as you need to, friends. You pull your right knee to your chest, tap your right shoulder. Ton of balance, don't kid yourself. A ton of core work. Squeeze everything tight. Micro bend through your right elbow. You wanna lock it out to be strong here. Your joints are stacked, they're strong. If they're hyperextended, they're gonna break. Keep going. Breathe through it, four more. Last three, two, inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Half burpees, inhale, high plank. Jump your feet forward, get out of your shoulders. Shoot them back forward, shoot them back forward, shoot them back forward, shoot them back forward. Keep going. Eight seconds. Get your heart rate up. Four. Last three, two, high plank. All right, gang, you're ready for it, you're ready. Push up to a right shoulder tap, left knee drive. So just working the left side. Push up, tap your left shoulder, drive your left knee. Push up, pull on the left. Push up, hit the left. Push up, hit the left. Push up, hit the left, you've got it. Again, take your right knee out to the edge, or excuse me, your right toe to maybe the edge of your mat so you have like a wider stance. Get the push up in. Even if you have to skip like the shoulder tap, maybe the next time you skip the knee drive, but get the push up in. This is your chest work all throughout class. You want the chest work. I um, sort of jokingly asked my husband for Botox for Christmas. <laughs> joking, but not joking. Cause he was just like, what's that? I'm like, what? He's like, I just like, are you always scowling or are those just wrinkles? I'm like, well, no, who's buying me Botox now? Just saying. Just saying. So are you scowling here? Are you like cementing that into your face? Don't do it. This push-up is anti-aging on its own. Not only to get your blood flowing, duh, and sweat, good for your skin, good for the detox, but you're lifting your chest, friends. Yeah, four more. Last three, two. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, please. Exhale, forward fold, grab your dumbbells. Inhale, chair pose. Low hold in your chair. So they want you low. We alternate a knee drop to a drive. So you drop your knee, drive. Drop, drive, drop, drive. Touch it and lift. Touch it and drive. After a few of these, you'll realize why we're alternating, right? Doing this on one side would be murder. Murder! You know, we got time for that. So stay low, stay low. Burn through your lower body. Press your dumbbells in at heart center. If it feels better, let them hang by your side. Sometimes I need a little release through my lower back and I get it by letting my dumbbells hang. Try it on, friends. Keep going, get a little lower. Eight. You're down to five. Last three. Two. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, crescent airplane arms, if your left foot back. Singles with tricep kickback, inhale, bend, tap your knee, exhale, kick it. Lengthen, bend, 
lengthen, bend, lengthen, bring your dumbbells to your hips, kick them back to your hips, kick them back to your hips, kick them back. You are still in an airplane torso. So at the top of your range, you are in crescent airplane arms, friends. It gets lower from there. I know, I know. Your right glute should start barking at you immediately, immediately. Also with the bend through your elbows, we bring our dumbbells to our hips to make it stricter, to make it smaller. You don't want to flail here. You drop your knee, bend your elbows, kick back. So when you come to the top, you have a lovely 45, maybe less angle from your foot, your back foot, through the crown of your head. Your arms, the same angle as your legs. Get lower. I know, get lower. Five, four, pull at the bottom in three, while the bottom, hold your crescent airplane arms. Hold it, tricep runners, bend one at a time. Kick them back, kick them back, kick them back, kick them back. Keep going. Punch through your palm, get low. Pull your belly off your quad. Five more. Last three, two, exhale, crescent airplane arms. Inhale, crescent lunge. I'm gonna turn so you can see me. Curtsy lunge. Okay, one thing at a time, step forward. As you step your left foot back into a curtsy, we'll take it around the world. Bring your dumbbells together, round them up to the left. Curtsy, round back the way it came, stand. Round to the left, if you step your left foot back, bring them back the way it came. To the left side, we're paying attention to the left side. Towards the left of your left foot back. Bring them back down. Flare through your lats, your back muscles beneath behind your armpits. Bring your front knee over your ankle, straight up and down. So the depth and cross body action comes from your back leg. Keep on going, friends. You're making a half circle. A half circle on this side. Tap your knee in your curtsy. I mean, it keeps you low. It keeps you honest. Five more, please. Hold your curtsy in three. Two. Hold your curtsy. Hold it here. You don't tap your knee, but get low. Parallel your front hamstring with your mat. Hammer a curl to a front raise. Hammer a curl, front raise. Hammer a curl, front raise. Squeeze it, lift it, flex. Squeeze your shoulders for your front raise. You can turn your palms in. If you're like, oh, it's getting too challenging. You can slightly change it by facing your palms down. It's a slight, slight movement in your shoulder, the sensation in your shoulder. Either way, you guys, glide your shoulder blades down your back to lift. Good. You're squeezing your biceps, yes? Like really tight, the way to the beach. And maybe you don't let them go all the way down. Maybe you lower like, I don't know, 90%. Instead of like letting them hang, 90%. And then squeeze them up. Bring your dumbbells six inches from your shoulders. Step them there. Got it. How's your right glute feeling? Good news, if you lean back, your left quad will help take over. Just slide a hand, there's no way out. Five more. You get singles in three. You get to move in two. Singles lat pull and press. Pull your elbows behind your rib cage, press it out. Pull it in, press it out. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift and press. Lower, press out, lower, press out. Pull it in, press, squeeze it. Press, there is no break. There is no break through your back. You squeeze, actively pull in towards your midline, or you're actively pressing away from it. Use your back, your lats right here. I mean, you can't see mine ever. Damn it, phantom lats. I know they're there. I know I was born with them. We gotta build my back, friends. I'm just, I'm here with you. I should get down here with you. Lat pull and press, flare through them. Imagine like your bat wings, your angel wings. If you could fly away from this hot mess moment, it's where your wings would sprout from, right here. Squeeze those. Maybe you lower your shoulders, lower your elbows. Do you feel that? Okay. Four more. Out of curtsy in three, two. Inhale, crescent lunge. Bring your leg back behind you. Exhale, warrior two. Bring both dumbbells to your front arm. Isometric 
isolated, bicep curl. Crunch forward, hold here. Put your elbow inside your thigh, bicep curl. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Lower and lift. Wedge your elbow into your inner thigh so you can isolate your bicep. Both dumbbells in your front hand because your freaking arms are strong. They can handle this. They've already warmed up with the hammer curl. You're ready. And worst case scenario, you're like, I'm not ready. Ditch one dumbbell. You can do this with one dumbbell. You certainly can. By isolating to your bicep, you take your shoulder swing out. You're also holding an oblique crunch. So instead of jumping into your front hamstring, can you activate through your midsection? Can you crunch through your right oblique? Hold it. Like bring your rib closer to your hip bone. Ooh. Good job, friends. Keep going, keep going. We get to add the full range crunch in three, two, hold it and curl, come up for the crunch. Hold it and curl, come up for the crunch. Hold it and curl, come up for the crunch. You've got it. Lift your back arm, your left arm, just for good measure, just for a little bit of shoulder engagement. You don't have to really do anything with it, but hold it up. Because down here does nothing, friends. It does nothing for you. Stay upright. You can still find length even as you crunch. Keep going. Oh, God. Slipping everywhere. Squeeze your bicep. Remember, six inches from your shoulder. Anybody like the movie Elf? Movie Elf and he's in the department store. He's talking to Jovi. Six inch ribbon curls. All I ever hear. Six Inches, that's impossible. Six inches. Okay, okay, you've heard them. Four more, please. Last three. Two. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star. Okay, let's get weird, friends. You've got a high pull into a deadlift with a tricep kick out. What? High pull, it's for your back. Deadlift, kick out. So 45 degree tricep kick back. High pull, hinge forward, kick out. High pull, hinge forward, kick out. Basically, glue your elbows in space out from your shoulders. You pull with your back, kick with your triceps. Pull with your back, kick with your triceps. Pull it, kick it back, pull, kick it back, pull, kick it back. You've got it. Working the back side of your body. If you get your hamstrings, your glutes, and the deadlift, it's built in. We practiced this. You're ready. Hinge forward, hinge from your hips, but work for length. Elbows are out by your shoulders. Keep them there. Squeeze your back for the high pull. Pinch your shoulder blades together, just like you did on your mini back, but it's the exact same movement. As you hinge forward, you can squeeze. Lock out through your triceps, which you've already done in tricep runners. Now we're just at a 45 degree angle because your elbows are wide. We'll come back to this 45 degree angle, but not for your triceps, I promise, pinky promise. Keep on going. Find control, find some squeeze. It's easy to let momentum swing you forward and back. Don't do that. Take your power back in this moment. I will know, I will say, as much as I love the holidays, this year has been way less crazy. We don't have all the commitments. I mean, I'm sad about like the kid shows that, you know, isn't happening. Um, some of the parties and all the planning, but like, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice just to like be at home and enjoy the season and, Make your plans, even if they're a little bit different. There are some nuggets. There are some ways we can sort of take our power back and still do what nurtures us and fuels our soul, fuels our body. This is one of those, friends. Find control, nurture and fuel your body, and know that, like, as trying as it may be, there are some benefits. You have eight more seconds. You can do anything for five. Last three. Two. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, high plank. Pull, pivot, plant your weights. High plank, inchworm to the back of your mat. Squat jump, inchworm forward, high plank. Take it back. Squat jump, forward, back, squat jump. Hug your navel to your spine. Maybe you had a push up at the front. Maybe you don't, and we don't, so we don't say it. We don't talk about it. We just take that out completely. Okay, friends but choose. Walk forward and back. Bend your elbows a lot. There you go. Work your chest. Work your back. Work your belly. Your lower back. I mean, when we say core friends, I mean, I'm talking your entire trunk. You've got it. And explode up at the back. Point your toes in the air. 
get higher, go faster. Eight seconds of this nonsense. I mean, it's like a weird part of the Christmas song, isn't it? We're into it. We're into it. It's high energy. Last three. Two. Just watch them. Go. 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 Get up. Get lower. Eight. Yeah, you can. Last five. Four. Three. Two. Inchworm forward. High plank. Stay and breathe. Hollow through your armpits. Jump through your back. You're all right. Micro bend through your elbows. Take a big breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. So good, friends. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. We're on side two. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step back to high plank. Oh, crap. I know. Work the right side this time. <laughs> Take your left foot wide. Tap your right shoulder. Excuse me. Push up. Tap your right shoulder. Bring your right knee forward. Push up. Tap to the right. Push up. Tap to the right. Push up. Tap to the right. I know, I know. It's a lot to ask for the push-up after you've just been in some sort of plank. But it's nothing you can't handle. Here's the rub. We don't have to do a million of these variations because we're stacking them together. We're also front-loading them, so it gets easier from here on out, friends. We're on side two. There's no side three. Eight more seconds. Get at least five reps in. Oh, that means you got to pick it up, friends. Or maybe I should slow down my counting. Or we could ponder how on earth little John met the Kool-Aid man. Kool-Aid man being a pitcher, a glass pitcher of Kool-Aid. Like, was it a fundraiser? Party night? I think it was a party night. We're in somebody's bad trip right now. Four more. Last three. Two, inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, no weight. Exhale, fold, grab your dumbbells, inhale, chair pose. Three knee drives to a switch, big knee drives, big knee drives, big switch, three knee drives, big switch, three knee drives, big switch, keep going. So we're back into a little bit of cardio. You're in chair pose, I want you to hold it low, but pull, drive your knee to your chest, use the strength of your abdominals to crunch it in. Uh -huh. Then explode up, switch your legs. Punch your dumbbells in a heart center. Flare through your chest. Play your elbows out wide. So it's still active. Eight seconds, please. Last three. Two. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, crescent air play arms. Take your right foot back. Singles with a narrow row. Bend your elbows. Tap, lower your weights. Exhale, pull up. Tap, pull, tap. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Tap your knee. Pinch your shoulder blades. Tap. Pinch your shoulder blades. Notice you are the exact same position here. Pull your dumbbells to your hips. Your elbows will follow. Glide your shoulders down your back. You got it, friends. All right. You pull your dumbbells to your hips. So you can light up to your back. As in, I don't want, I don't want you throwing elbows in the air. There's no benefit here. Bring your shoulders down. Squeeze through your mid to lower back. You'll get a ton of upper back, like your rhomboid, where your racer back tank comes together. I mean, for girls that wear those. I'm... Right here. <laughs> you got it. You got the single, right? So you get a warm up to your left glute. Are you feeling it yet? Is it barking at you? Kool-Aid's man saying, oh yeah, it's ridiculous. I don't know, I don't know, but there's a beat, so we're doing it. And all little John wants for Christmas is everything on his list. Okay, I can appreciate some like uncompromising attitudes here. Decide here that you do not compromise either. No compromise. You get exactly what you want. And now that we're adults, we know we don't get what we want by behaving. We get what we want by putting in the work. This is the work. There's no shortcut. Stay here, get lower. Roll your back heel forward. Yes, friends, five more, you get a hold. In three, two, hold it at the top, row runs. Pull, 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 pull. Hold through your hips. Resist the urge to twist through your waist. Just squeeze, squeeze it up, squeeze it up, squeeze it up, squeeze it up. Keep going. Let it lower, please. Dig through your front heel. I know, I know your left glute's barking. That's why we're here. I know, you're almost out of this. 
Eight more seconds. Continue to drive your shoulder blade to the ceiling. Squeeze through your back. Last four. Three, two. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Inhale, crescent lunge. Okay, around the world curtsy. Set it up. This time we go to the right. Bring your right foot forward. Round your dumbbell tor towards the right. Think of your curtsy. Bring it back the way you came. Towards your right. Step your right foot back. Back the way you came. Towards your right. Back the way you came. Right side moves. Back the way you came. You've got it, friends. Work through your last. We're in your back again, right here. Rebuild this to make your waistline look smaller. Again, phantom lat. Someday, someday it'll gonna happen for me. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Get low in your curtsy. Take your right leg back and then across your body. Stack your left knee on top of your left ankle. So good. Now lift your chest. You got this. Nothing you can't handle. You've already done it. Side two with the necessary evil. Four more. Hold your curtsy in three, two. Hold your curtsy, bicep curl into a lateral raise. Curl, raise it up. Curl, squeeze your shoulder caps. Curl, pinch your shoulders. Curl, pinch them. I said pinch your shoulders, not shrug them. You don't want them up here. You just squeeze them tight. So I am saying take the flail out. This is an active shoulder flex. Feel the difference. It's easy to flail your dumbbells around. I mean, when I say easy, I mean, it's not easy. You have to engage your muscles, but you don't get the most bang for your buck. So squeeze what your mama gave you. Know that you're already here doing the weird things. You might as well get everything you can out of it. Eight more seconds, please. You get to move out of your curtsy. Well, I mean, you get to move in your curtsy in three, two, singles with a full range of motion server. Sink it down, pull your elbows behind your rib cage, squeeze up and press your chest. Lower and pull to your back. Lift and press to your chest. Lower and pull. Lower, pull, lower, press, pull it back, press, pull it back, press. You've got it. Face your dumbbells towards the ceiling. Keep your elbows low. As you pull behind you, it's a low row. Squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back. As you press forward, squeeze through your chest. Get a little bit of bicep extension. Yeah, full range of motion server. But you don't need to bring your way up here. There's no benefit. We've already done your shoulders. We're doing them still. Well, I don't want you to do them here. Press it forward. My hands are still below my shoulders. Then pull it back. So good, friends. You've got it. Let's think lower. I know. I know. This is where we all start to kind of peace out, pull out. Just commit. Commit to the work. Know that some sick part of you loves this. You keep coming back for more. Yeah. And if nothing else, think about getting your movement in now because you're going to have some glorious days coming up. We're going to be watching maybe some holiday movies or maybe chilling by a fire. I mean, I don't know, guys. I don't know what your plans are, but hopefully you're taking some time, some time to re rest, relax, enjoy with others, even if it's virtually. So move your body now so you can feel really good sitting sedentary for a while. <laughs> Maybe you'll like feel good sitting down because you've done all this movement, right? You get a break. Four more. I don't know about you, but I get really empty. Last three, two. Inhale, crescent lunge. Bring your right foot straight back. Exhale, warrior two. Bring both dumbbells to your front arm. Isolated bicep curl. Crunch forward. Hold your elbow to the side inside your thigh. Curl it and lower. Curl, lower. Exhale, squeeze it up. Inhale down. Exhale, pinch, lower, exhale, pinch, lower, pull it up, lower, you've got it. So instead of just dumping through your hamstring, squeeze through your belly, find some lift. So even though you're crunching, you're not getting low necessarily, you're just holding, you're engaging. This is hard. It's hard to just hold it, but you're in some new muscles, you're in some fresh spots, your inner thighs, I mean, hello, hello, we haven't destroyed you yet. Your hamstring's taking over kind of instead of your left glute. That, that's fun. You got it. Maybe you look at how you get a, like, a stretch through your right inner thigh right now. Mm, you're practically enjoying this. We add the crunch in four, two, bicep curl, come up to crunch. Curl, crunch up and down. Curl, crunch right, crunch left. Curl, crunch right, crunch left. Curl. 
crunch up, crunch down, curl. You got it. So you're still curl, excuse me, you're still crunching even as you stack your shoulders up over your hips. So make this movement come from your midsection. Allow this oblique oh, crunch, the initiation to like start. The engagement initiates the movement. Yeah. Okay. P.S. This is not a time to take yourself seriously. We're listening to like Christmas Trap right now. And we just had a song with the Kool-Aid guy. He's not an actual guy. He's a picture of Kool-Aid. It's okay, friends. Slowly raise both corners of your mouth. It's going to end. It's going to be fine. You can go on with the rest of your day pretty damn soon. Four more, please. Last three. Two. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Three quarter deadlift with a 45 degree rear delt line. Okay. On your three quarter deadlift, you come about three quarters of the way, lower down, 45 degree fly. So you're still at 45 degrees with your arms, but squeeze your shoulder blades together. So we're not kicking back with our triceps, face your palms towards the ground. All right. Three quarters, lower, fly it back. Three quarters, lower, fly it back. Squeeze it forward, glide it back, press. Squeeze it forward, glide it back, fly. Squeeze it, glide it, fly back. Squeeze it, glide it, fly back. We fly to the back, not to the side, to the back. So you can get your back and your rear delts, the back side of your shoulders. Boulder shoulders, friends. We've done front, we've done lateral. Now we're doing the back. Round boulder shoulders. Yeah. Engage to your core, hug your navel to your spine. Maybe you hug it up and into your rib cage even. That's better. Brace to your lower back. Glide your hips back. Squeeze your glutes forward. <clears throat> Find the length of your torso, but know the movement's coming from your backside, your strong side. Three quarter, fly back. Three quarter, fly back. Three quarter, fly back. So you're constantly engaged. You don't get the releasing star. Yet, four more, three, two, inhale, star pose, exhale, high plank, pull, pivot, plant your dumbbells. All right, gang, no dumbbells, half burpee, step fast feet, go, 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 fast feet, fast feet, fast feet, let it jiggle, let it shake, four, three, Two, half burpee, fast feet, fast feet, fast feet, go, go, go. Get lower. Half burpee, fast feet, go, go, go. Half burpee, back up, fast feet, keep going. You switch one the other, half burpee. Fast feet, fast feet, fast feet, fast feet, half burpee. Fast feet, go, 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 go. Get lower. Maybe you swing your arms forward and back. Just half burpees, go, go, go. Go, jump forward and back. You've got it. You're gonna drop down after this. Five, four, three, two, come to your seat. Forearm boat, that's not a thing. I'm making it a thing for this class. Forearm boat, walking bridge. Come to your forearms, kick your legs out. Pull your right heel in, single leg bridge, hip thrust. Then it back, pull your left, thrust it up. Take them long, pull your right. Long, pull your left. Long, pull your right. Left, go long, go long. Continue to alternate which knee pulls in. Send them both long, in between. We're building up. Four, three, add the cross body, toe touch, sit up. Pull it in. Come, come up, touch your toe. Switch them out. Touch your toe. Go long. Touch your toe. Go long. Right heel. Touch. Go long. Left heel. Touch. Go long. Right heel. Touch. Go long. Left heel. Touch. Put your forearms down. Come up. Put your forearms down. Come up. Put your forearms down. Come up. Touch them. Lift. Touch them. Lift. Keep going. Eight seconds. Sneaky bit of cardio. A little bit of core, four. Last three, two. Lower all the way to your back, Supdivada Konasana. Bring the bottoms of your feet to touch. Inhale your fingertips behind your ears. Supdu crunches your upper body. Inhale, lower, exhale, crunch. Lower, crunch, lower, crunch, lower, 
crunch, lower. We add a bridge, lower, crunch, lower. Super bridge, lift your hips, lower, crunch, lower. Lift your hips, lower, crunch, hips, crunch, hips. You're here for four, three, full range setups in two. Lift everything, lift your chest, lift your feet, lower. Lift your chest, lift your feet, lower. Lift it, lower, lift it, lower. You've got it, glue your lower back to your mat. Five more, last three. Two, go back to alternate. Soup to crunch, full range. Soup to bridge. Soup to crunch, slow it down. Soup to bridge. Soup to crunch. Soup to bridge. Soup to crunch. Hold your bridge. Pulse, pulse. It's only weird if you're not doing it, okay. In classes where I make people look at each other because it's awkward. But it's funny. Don't take yourself so seriously, friends. We know what it looks like, but squeeze your tush up. Feel your outer glutes light up. For four, press into the nice edge of your feet. Three, two, lower your hips. Kick your legs out and just hold. Just hold. Glue your lower back to your mat. Come into ab prep. Hold it here. Hold here. Just hold. This is your last bit of work. Just hold. Glue your lower back down. Hollow through your midsection. Stay and breathe, stay and breathe. Reach through your fingers. Four more. Last three, two. Hug your knees to your chest, you're done. Friends, rock forward and back, side to side. Take a big breath in. Exhale, allow your legs to fall to the left supine twist. Stack your right hip on top. Continue to breathe as you press your right shoulder blade into your mat. If you tee or cactus your arms so as your both shoulder blades are down, you can soften or close your eyes. Big breath in. Exhale slowly back through center. Hug your knees into your chest. Take a supine twist to the right. Allow your knees to fall to the side. Stack your left hip on top. Bring your left shoulder blade back down. Continue to breathe. Feel a stretch in the middle of your back. Take a big breath in. Exhale, slowly come back to your center. Happy baby pose. Grab the knife edge of your feet. Kick your heels up to the ceiling as you actively pull back down with your hands. Place your entire tailbone on your mat. Up to you whether you rock side to side or find stillness. breath in. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest. One final squeeze and release to your Shavasana. I'll pull you out in just a moment. Slowly 
begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Inhale your arms overhead, one full stretch. Exhale, please roll to your right side, supported fetal position. Rest your head on your bicep, curl your knees towards your chest and just take this moment to appreciate all the hard work you've put in on your mat today over the last year, whatever your practice has looked like. And know that regardless of what happens in the world around us, the earth keeps spinning. We keep going around the sun. And there are certain things that will happen regardless. And they may look different, but that's okay. There's some things we can't stop. There's some things that we need to hold on to. And even if it does look different, maybe you create a new tradition. Maybe you create some time, a little bit of downtime, a one-time pass even. But take some time to enjoy yourself, to relax, and to come back to the things that matter most. When you're ready, slowly press up to a comfortable seated position. Inhale your arms overhead. Exhale your hands in through heart center. You, my friends, are so freaking strong. You are worthy. You are enough. And your presence is needed here. We seal our practice with namaste. Thank you so much. You guys did an amazing job. I hope you enjoy your holiday season. Um, yeah, we'll see you soon. Thank you.